like a gracious sleep, you know? Yeah. I believe there is that moment where you feel it's real. That's nice. But still, it's just a portrait. And for me, it have no meaning until I do something with it. It's gonna be a complete... The moment I start pasting photos on the street, I realize the power of paper and glue, the power of actually an image in the street, and how people would actually react to it. When I was approached by New York City Ballet, I was curious to bring them into my universe, using the texture, the paper. Actually see legs coming here and there. And this will be projected? No, pasted. Pasted, yeah, black and white pasting. One or two, that's it. Disappearing inside wood, swimming inside the texture. So they are like a completely different feeling. Unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. You're actually on it, so you have to take distance from it. So that's an image that would be in the promenade. That's a giant eye made out of all the dancers. So that day of the shooting, they were all interacting with the paper. I didn't come in the shooting knowing I would do clouds. It came because of the paper and the fact that the dancers were completely distant from their ego. Doesn't matter if you don't see me, doesn't matter if I'm upside down. The skills of dance help the artworks become such another piece. So much part of our history here, you know. More new ballets, more new music, more art from here. That's the center of the eye. Ninety-nine percent of what I produce is actually interaction. It's something you can't own. It's a moment. But when you see a ballet that night, that's where all the most interesting stuff will happen. Interaction, people, you can take photos, you can share them, but you'll leave also with a little piece of that artwork. It will definitely change the whole shape of the New York City Ballet for that time.